George Herbert Betts, who was alive from 1868 to 1934, published his Ph.D. dissertation from Columbia University in 1909. Betts investigated the differences between voluntary mental imagery and spontaneous imagery. Voluntary imagery is the power to produce an image at will compared to spontaneous imagery, which occurs with no effort. Betts based his work off of the prior work of Fechner and Galton, who delved into the scope of voluntary imagery used by individuals. Additionally, Betts suggested that inner speech could be equated with nonverbal inner imagery. His inventory was identified by Cofield in 2004 to be a significant contribution to the development of testing for learning styles. The inventory related to seven different imagery types. Visual imagery then delved into the outline, the shape, the size, the color, the form, texture, distance, light, and even movement. Auditory imagery looked at the varying qualities of pronunciation, pitch, force, and volume, clearness, as well as vividness. Cutaneous imagery related to the touch and feeling. Kinesthetic imagery evolved around the movement of the body. Gastatory imagery employed the use of tastes such as bitter, sweet, salty, and textures of the food like granulated. Olfactory imagery looked at the smelling, while organic imagery looked at the approach of the state of one's being. For instance, fatigue, hunger, illness, thirst, nausea, and activity levels. The short and best inventory has proved to being effectively used in research. It is reliable and a valid means of measurement. The inventory was first given to a variety of Cornell students consisting of 150 questions relating to the seven different imagery types using a scale associated with seven degrees of clearness or vividness within the varied imagery designations. The scale started with the greatest clarity to no clarity at all, being from very vivid and clear as reality to as I think of it, but I may not have any image at all before me. Betts concluded from his research that most persons can command a few wide range and greater profusion of imagery than they normally employ in their thinking. Instances occur which imagery is most likely to be used at points where our thinking is baffled and at points where our precepts would be of great assistance. The inventory also determined that thinking is not necessarily linked to imagery. It can and does occur without the age of imagery, but may serve as a familiar background for meeting. The accuracy of being able to recall an image both clearly and vividly is often associated with the emotions of an individual. Also, memory does not have to be accomplished with the aid of imagery. It does, however, not be as closely related to reading as had previously been supposed. Lastly, Betts uncovered that imagery has been greatly overemphasized as to its importance in content. Later, Peter Sheehan based his work on learning styles by shortening Betts' inventory of mental imagery from 150 items to 35.